Hello and welcome to another episode. Today is a very exciting day today. It's Wednesday. Uh, you should be getting this on Friday, two days from now. <laughs> so anyway, um, today's a very exciting day. It's, uh, it's on the road today and we are going to meet a lovely guy named Guy McKenzie. Guy McKenzie, uh, he collects vintage guitars. He's got over 130, I believe. Um, we're going to meet him at the Exeter Corn Exchange where we're playing in September. Um, so I said I would take my guitar collection down as well, uh, which is um, proving harder than I thought because I didn't realise I had quite so many guitars. I haven't got 130, but um, I've got to move all this lot um, into the uh, into the car. So um, I'm going to need a little bit of help from my road crew. So we've made it to Exeter Corn Exchange, um, up lots of stairs and lifts and things like that with lots of guitars, but that's not really um, why we're here. We're here for the um, rock and roll fat look. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Lars Mullen, <laughs> the best microphone player in the world. <laughs> get three, Back a bit, trying to get three, three grown men to be serious when it comes to a photo session. We've just had a couple of photos done and, and Lars make it. It's run, hasn't it? I'm not doing anything till I find my banana. <laughs> it's missing. He needs to find his banana. banana. Oh, crikey, people of YouTube, yes. help. <laughs> oh, please, my banana is missing. <laughs> Look, finally, I want to, to say that everything we've talked about leads up to the Guitar Hero show. Mm. I mean, I've brought some of my guitars with me, yeah. and I hope you're going to play some of those for me. I will indeed. But you've also brought a fabulous collection of your own guitars, just so I hope couple. you'll... <laughs> just a couple, <laughs> and a few more. And I hope you're going to play some of those for us. I would love to. So, Phil, look, it's been great talking to you, and um, let's play some guitars. <laughs> I know nothing about it at all. If my daughter was here, she'd say, Dad, I love that guitar, it's blue. <laughs> Tell me about it, Phil. Hmm. This, uh, this one was, was built for me by the good people at Crimson Guitars. Oh, okay. uh, they are Dorset-based uh, guitar builders. Um, and this is what they call a descendant drop top. Right. Um, like I said, they, they, they asked me what, what I wanted, because I do some demo work for them. Mm -hmm. And they said, what, you know, what, what, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And I said, I want a blue one. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked for a maple fingerboard as well, which right. um, Ben is not keen on maple fingerboards. But when this was all finished and it came out, he went, God, blimey, that's nice. <laughs> it looks fabulous to me. It's, so. it's a beautiful guitar. <laughs>
is my fault. That's camera action. Did, can I just point out that it, Lars just did a pilot error? Massive pilot error. We don't know what he did, he didn't know what he did, but whatever he was, he didn't do anything. Um, found a banana though, didn't we? Did you eat your banana? I last? found it, yeah. Did you eat it? Oh, All of it. Did you share your banana? I've, no, I offered. <laughs> I never heard that. If, if I'd known you were sharing oh. your banana, I would have had some. Well, there's a Kit Kat missing as well. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm, so, I'm not sharing that. It's <laughs> the four finger one. Ooh, blimey. Serious. <laughs> I hope we're not running now, I really do. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're okay. I'm ready to go. Oh, is you ready like this go? all the time? Yeah. All the time. Have you seen this? Look, well, look, look, this is this is behind the camera knees. Doing bunny hops here. As in three, two. You played a lot of your guitars, and they sound absolutely great. Thank and you. now you're playing some of mine. And yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, but this welcome. first one is an epi an '80s Epiphone by Gibson. Mm. It's it belonged to some friends of mine and they've and I'm just very pleased to have you playing it. It's interesting because it's got a fender style vibrato tailpiece. But I, I really appreciate you playing it and hear what it really should sound like. No problem. <laughs> Thank you for being prepared to play this guitar of mine. It's okay. It was. It belonged to a friend of mine who very sadly died a few years ago. It was his guitar of choice. Mm -hmm. It's Les Paul styled, but of course it's hollow body. But it's never had a name on the headstock, so nobody knows where it came from. Mm. It might be a Bells of Surbiton, but dating it from uh, the machine heads, we reckon it dates from about 1969. Okay. Phil, I really appreciate you doing it justice. I'll Thank try. Disappeared somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> I was just going to. i for a minute and Phil Walker has changed. I know, I've grown some long hair, you know, and um, tend to like this style on a Friday, really. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you, you're holding my famous Strato Deluxe guitar. Lovely. This is a sort of top of the range guitar from, from the mid 60s. It's got all sorts of functions on it, and don't ask me what they are, because I don't know what they are, but it has got an organ swell pedal, but Jamie, if you'd just like to play something for me, that would be fantastic. I'll, I'll try. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
That is fantastic. <laughs> but by the way, what, while you're, you're here, and uh, um, who's your agent? Oh, it's you now. <laughs> oh, great. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you very much indeed. That, that okay. was brilliant. Yeah. Thank Excellent. you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>
I'll swap you in for a Les Paul. Done. Oh no. Oh no. You've passed the ultimate challenge. You definitely are a guitar hero. So I've just filmed this guitar um, with Guy. This is a, it's a 1959, is this one. And um, the, the strings don't line up. It's it's um, it's it's a bit. Of, I suppose they call it a bit of a dog, really. Look at the neck. Look at that neck. Toby James, who was in the guitar show, would love that neck because it's like it's like it's like I don't know. It's like a baseball bat. Look at it, like that. But I tell you what. <laughs> Mm. Absolutely perfectly in tune. Yeah. You yeah. can actually just tune it. There's always an issue with that one, isn't there? Yeah. With that one and that one. You can always you can tune it at the beginning of the night and you don't need to do it again. It's incredible. There's a lot of lady country players play them as well. Mm. It's a picture on, on the internet recently. They're just gorgeous. A bit, a bit unusual that finish? Yeah, well I, I spoke to Music Man and they um, they didn't say it was a rare or anything, but they said it's a white, a, a white ice pick guard and it's white in radiance ice. red with a matching headstock and I've never seen another one. I've never seen another one like it. I mean, it was a brave thing to do, to do that to a strap shape, wasn't yeah. it? That yeah. and that. It's just great, isn't it? But it, it just works. So we're about to have a photo taken, me and Lars, and, yeah. and what's the sound that we make when we do a photo? Um, um. <laughs> this was a really good idea at the time. <laughs> so that's the end of today and it's been thoroughly enjoyable. Um, now we've got to load the guitars back into the house, which I'm can't wait, and the road crew is well, it's worse than it was this morning, to be honest. Um, big thank you to Lars. Thank Pleasure. You, sir. Good man. Very good man. And a big thank you to Mr. Diamond Kenzie. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, problem. Shake, no problem. No problem. No problem. Go on, shake hands. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I'm not Paul. You're not Paul, are you? I'd never like to shave a dog's hand. No, thank no, you. No, no, that's okay. Really so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope, you, uh, hope you're liking, I hope you're subscribing. Come see the guitar show here at Exeter oh, Park Exchange, 2nd of September. Um, cheers, guys. See you next time.